Hello, welcome to Eastern Hops. I am Packrat Eastern 215, and today we're going to go over a little bit about the VA system or virtual airline. To start, you need to book a flight, and you'll do that by opening your web browser and going to the Eastern Hops website. From here, click on Flight Bag. And if you want to create your own flight, click Create Your Own Flight. We're going to start off uh, Toronto, Canada, Pearson International, CYYZ. And let's say we want to go to Detroit. So KDTW. And then you want to select your aircraft. Now, if your aircraft is not in this list, just get with one of the admins. We can add it to the list. Uh, I generally fly to 747-400, so we'll select that one. Departure time does not matter, so you can leave that and click Create Your Flight. Now what it's going to do is add your flight to the bottom of this list. So scroll all the way to the bottom of the list, and you'll see CYZ to KDTW. Click Fly Now. And then it's going to ask for your uh, cruise altitude, so it's a short flight. We're only going to go up to 20,000. And for route, you can leave this blank or you can put the route in that you're going to fly. Uh, I usually do mine GPS direct, so I'll type that in. And click Fly Now. Now when you get the green check mark, you know that the flight has been booked. So you can also add other flights. Just click an, add another flight. And it'll take you back to this list and you can select another flight from this list to fly. Now we're not going to do that right now, so we're done with this for now. Next you'll want to start your flight simulator start out at the airport you are departing from so for me that's Toronto Pearson I'm gonna go ahead and spawn on the active runway although we don't recommend that in the server I'm doing this in free flight so it really doesn't matter select OK fly now let it load up Now I'm going to go ahead and set up my aircraft for the flight. And I'm programming my GPS, although you can't see it right now. Alright, GPS is programmed. Now we're going to, let's see, I'm going to set my cruise altitude at 20,000. And just configure your aircraft any way you want to do it. I'm going to go ahead and lower my flaps. And then once your aircraft's all set up the way you want it. You need to start the flight tracker smart cars. So... Now if you click on flights, the flight that you put in will be listed. I already had a couple of them in there and this is, like I said, you can add more than one flight. Select the flight you want to fly, which is CYYZ to KDTW. Click fly. And again, you'll see your aircraft type in here. It'll automatically generate a load, which I have 607 passengers, cruise flight 20,000 feet. I am flying offline, but if you want to fly on one of the networks or flying on another network, if you're flying on the Eastern Hop server, you can select that, but I'm flying offline on this one, and click Start. Now you can hear the uh, pre-flight takeoff message from the stewardess. And we'll go back to the flight sim. Yeah. 
and we'll get ready to take off here. I'm going to set my brakes and spool up my engines. And although I don't need it, I'm going to turn on the anti-ice. And we're starting to take off roll. Now I like to let the uh, autopilot take off. And it's just a personal preference, whatever you want to do. I wait until the speed builds up to about 140 and then I'll select the autopilot master now my aircraft I have some extra gauges and stuff in it and it'll automatically turn on course once we reach a altitude above ground above 2,000 feet and if you pull the smart cars up you'll see the messages on it you know climbing pitch of 7 roll level 186 knots the gear was raised at 106 feet at 182 knots alright we just turned on course And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording here a little while while we fly. Alright, we've reached our cruise altitude of 20,000 feet. Uh, we're 145 miles out of Detroit. I've already selected my approach and my runway, which I'll be landing on 27 left since I have it set for clear skies and uh, calm winds. And now I want to show you something if you pull up the a cars again you can go ahead and put in your next next flight if you want to look for a flight so what I'm gonna do is search for a flight that's already in the list click on new and select my departure airport which I'm landing at KDTW so let's do that and search and see what's available out of KDTW now we've got several flights here to St. Louis. Uh, we got one ITH. I'm not sure what that is. Um, KFFO, KOSH, Oshkosh, and there are just a whole bunch of flights in here. And we're going to select one of the St. Louis flights. So select it and click bid. And you'll see that it's put it in your flight list. So once you get there, you can go ahead and go from uh, Detroit to St. Louis. So we're going to go back to the A cars again. And then we're going to continue to flight. And as I get ready to approach for landing, I will restart the recording. All right, we've started our initial descent into Detroit. We're now 61 miles out, descending out of 20,000 feet for 11,000 feet. And we're going to continue on this approach here. We are now on our final descent into Detroit, descending out of 11,000 for, I think it's 2,300 feet, which is the altitude we want to cross the outer marker at so we can intercept the glide slope. As you can tell by the identifier beeping in the background, we have picked up the ILS, the localizer. So we are now tracking the localizer inbound. As you can see, the airport is now in sight. And I'm going to continue the recording and show you the landing.
now seven miles, six miles from the outer marker. And we're at 3500 AGL descending. Now slowing to 180 knots. Twenty five hundred AGL. And we are over the outer marker. Slowing to one five zero knots. on the glide slope 1,000 1, feet gear coming down And you notice you get the altitude callouts with smart cars. And we start our flare and bring our power back. 40, 30. Touchdown. Now I'm just going to stop on the runway here and once the parking brakes are set you have the option to close smart cars bring smart cars back up here and you'll notice that you know arrive flight duration and you have this uh, finish button click on the finish button and then you have the option to put in any comments in the pyrep section which is pilot reports but I don't have any uh, uh, comments to make so I'll file the pirate
And like it says, the PIREP has been filed. The form will now reset to allow you to fly another flight. So just click OK. And you're ready to start again. Uh, you can start, you know, fly the next flight in your list or go book another flight. And that's it for this one.